Hello, I'm American actress Mindy Kaling. And I'm British actress <coughs> Emma Thompson. I'm going to learn some British slang with Emma Thompson. Bins. I would assume this is like a garbage can. Nope. Say you were to go into the countryside, you might take these with you. Like binoculars. Yes. Well done. So British people are using binoculars so much that they need a shortened nickname for them. Yeah. They love bird watching so much. Because if so you much. really are posh, saying the word binoculars, it takes hours. Who has the so just, Have you got the bins instead of the binoculars? It seems like an unnecessary That's nickname, why. but okay. Yeah, All well, right. there you go. Jolly. Like jolly, like Santa Claus. Like jolly means yeah, like fat it does, and happy. Yeah. Does it mean something else I that think, we don't know about? I, I, mm, I don't think so. Do you feel a lot of pressure to be like an Yeah, I feel a lot of pressure <laughs> to be British and posh. Beastly. Like poorly behaved? Yes, it can do, yeah. Unpleasant. Could you Again, use can I, can I, you're being perfectly beastly, Roger. Pushing that pepper mill up my bottom was a perfectly beastly thing to do, Algernon. For instance. Okay, that was very so vivid. I, well, absolutely, and very posh and extremely British. I like that you use and Roger and Algernon pushing pepper mills up <laughs> each other's fundamentals. What <clears throat> jolly hockey sticks? Mm. Jolly hockey sticks refers to um, the girls uh, from um, posh boarding schools who would be bouncing onto the field with a hockey stick. And you know, just sort of, oh, jolly hockey sticks. Ha <laughs> ha, jolly hockey sticks. Somehow your so, explanation did not make this any more clear. No, I, I, I get that. It's sort of, if you say someone's a bit jolly hockey sticks, yes. they're not cool. They're the opposite of James Dean. Okay, it just sounds like a Netflix show. About yeah, it. I'm just going to go. Okay, yeah. next. Yonks, is this the sound you make when you've discovered something? Yes. Oh, yonks! <laughs> it's, oh my God, Mindy, I haven't seen you in Yonks. What? Yonks is like in an eternity? Yes. Okay. I guess I'm fancier and like to use words like eternity. Yes, exactly. Or an eon. <laughs> an eon. Tight to me is like, that yeah. song is tight. That means cool. In our country, it means mean. Mean with money. He's very tight. Tight fisted. Oh, tight fisted. Yeah. Okay, now I understand that. Or it can also mean pissed, drunk, drunk. Versatile word. I was, it's very, very versatile because it can also mean, you know, tight. I see. Okay. Blotto. This is like a very drunk. Very, very drunk. Very, very drunk. Something I know very little about. <laughs> Pip Pip, I thought this was just something that English cartoon characters said. Is this something? Yeah, nobody says that anymore. Pip Pip is bye bye Ta-ra. Pip Pip. Like, for instance, when I was born, mm -hmm. yonks ago, um, <laughs> on the BBC on, on the World Service, mm -hmm. um, there would be the pip. Beep, oh, beep. got it. So that's the pips, and you say pip pip, and I was known as Pip Emma because I was born was, as the pips were sounding. I like that. It's quite nice. That isn't is it? nice. Old Bean. Old Bean. Is this like Mr. Bean? No. Another no. famous English Bean. Old Bean is just like Old Chum. It's nice. I like it. I mm -hmm. think it's always, but I don't know why we use it. Bean. Seedy. I think we have it here. It means a little bit run down, run down. Belly, yes. yes, run down. Also, you can say, if, for instance, you have been blotto in the recent past, I feel a bit seedy today. Capital, I think I know. Capital is like that's a capital idea. Yes, that's a good smart. Yes, it's a good thing. In ingenious idea. Yeah. Okay. Poppycock. This seems like another word that is just used in cartoons. It's a real word? It's, yes, it's, I mean, it is a slang word. Yeah. For... Can you use it in a sentence for me? That's absolute poppycock. Poppycock non is nonsense. Nonsense, rubbish, nonsense. Okay. Yeah. Rugger? I mm. don't know. I don't know what this rugby. is. Rugby. Okay, you're a rugger. You're someone who plays rugby. You No, rugger yep. is the slang term for rugby football. Lots of men rush at each other violently and push each other about and it's fantastically homoerotic and every time I say that to anyone who enjoys rugby they get very angry which <laughs> I think proves my point. Brick? Mm. What is this? Well, you're a brick. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does that mean? It means a really good sort. You would say, she's a brick, and that means someone you can rely on, mm. uh, someone you can trust, and you would also refer to that same person as a good egg. Good egg, I know. Mm -hmm. And yeah. brick. And brick. She's a brick. He's a brick. Emma, you're a brick. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot. Mm, good. I All think of was... it completely erroneous. <laughs>
But I'm glad we played. And I think it was a good use of time. Yeah, it was. It really was.